below. My name is Vincent K. I smoke a pipe, swear like a sailor, and rest like a hero. To summarize, I don't fuck around. And on that note, let's get started. Today's lesson is in Microsoft Excel. That's right, Excel. Get over it. The last guy who complained about one of my lessons was in 1991 during a chess class. I shoved the chess board up his ass and said, Checkmate, motherfucker. Let's continue. In this tutorial, I am going to show you some surprising features in Microsoft Excel. And I'll tell you the biggest surprise right now. Excel actually has features. That's right, you heard. Excel, actually, has features. But first, a brief history. Microsoft Excel was first developed in response to the popular perception that nothing could be as boring as Microsoft Word, or more awkward to use than Microsoft PowerPoint. However, in 1985 they succeeded, and the spreadsheet program was born. Now in its 10th edition, many careful design developments have been made, to the logo, inside the program. Everything has been carefully preserved with its original 1985 coding. That's right. They've done fuck all to improve it. Let's get started. Open up Excel. That's right. It's the green one. Type in some numbers. I'm using the Fuff Productions yearly budget documents as an example. As you can see, there is no total amount for these figures, and a huge quantity of data to sort out. I know what you're thinking. That's right. We'll be here forever. How can we sort out this numerical shitstorm? I'm happy you asked. Watch this. By clicking in the empty total box, and then clicking on the auto sum button, Excel will automatically select the numbers you need. Press the button again, and we have our total. Smack my ass and call me Sally. That is a figure of speech, basically expressing surprise. If you smacked my ass, and called me Sally, I'd kill everyone you knew. With a Tamagotchi. Back to Excel. What if we want to change a number in our document? I'm happy you asked. If we update any number in our document, Excel will automatically update the total amount. That's right. Excel did it automatically. This shit just got crazy. Excel can even be used as a calculator. Can it? Yes, it fucking can. Go to the FX window in the little boxy thing. You'll see this bar appear at the top of Excel. Inside here we can type in calculations and the answer will appear in our chosen box. Now type in some calculations. I'll give you an example. Equals 9 plus 17. Press return. Here's your answer. And another. Equals 7. Multiplied by 7. Press return. 40 fucking 9. And another. Equals 76. Divided by 5. Press return. 15.2. This thing's the dog's bollocks. Do we always have to type the equal sign first? Yes. Why is this? Because if you don't, I'll come round to your house, put the kettle on, and make myself a cup of tea. When I've finished the tea, I'll put the tea cup in the dishwasher, and leave. I believe I forgot to mention, that during this time, I had brutally, killed you, with a DVD box set, and a protractor. Let's move on, to the end. Of the tutorial. I'm Vincent K. I smoke a pipe, swear like a sailor, and wipe my ass with pit bull terriers. To summarize,